reached out yesterday, um, just kind of wanting to, I guess, impress upon everyone this could be a pivotal moment for you guys. Um, as one of those guys, can you, I guess, convey to us just the general idea of, of conversations and how you hope they were received and so forth? Yeah, well, bear with me. I, I feel like I got something in my teeth. I just had a pie, so I'm like, if you see anything in there, just you know, don't don't bash me online. It was pretty. It was it was pretty. It, no, just regular plain. It was pretty good. Um, okay. Like a little bar pie. It was good. Um, yeah, no, it, it's just one of those things where we we don't have much time. Uh, we have to, you know, 60 games. This is 60 games, so we have to really. Really put the pedal to the metal. I know we have some injuries. You know, we're, we're not a team that makes excuses. Um, we understand, you know, what we're capable of, of doing. But at the same time, uh, you know, I, I told Woody yesterday, I said, I'd rather have this done early than later. But, you know, later is, is now. So um, we have to put, you know, push the pedal to the metal, as they say. And, uh, you know, start off, you know, here at home, you know. Get, get a winning series and another winning series, and uh, away we go. But yes, we have to, uh, we got to score more runs. We got to hold guys, you know, to less runs, and we have to uh, figure it out, you know, starting today. There's no oregano in your, in your teeth or anything in your body. Thank you. Um, the, he, he talked about, the manager talked a little bit about. <clears throat> guys maybe pressing too much after the first couple games. And if that was the case after the first couple games, now that you find yourselves in a position where, as you said, pedal to the metal, and it's kind of a pivotal moment, how do you keep from, how do you keep them from doing, trying to do too much right now? Yeah, well, I think, you know, in the beginning, um, at home, I should say, the games at home, I think our energy wasn't there. Uh, it was something that, you know, we talked about a little bit, you know, before a couple games. Chu led off with a home run, I think, uh, on the road. <clears throat> um, he did it twice. And, you know, for us, now the energy is there. It, it, it's not leaving. Every game before the game, we're fired up. Uh, you know, uh, I'm having a good time with Beasley. We sing our, our little song real quick before the game. Guys are, you know, talking, chatting, and uh, getting after it. So um, it's just one of those things where the energy is there, but we have to uh, – you know, when you have someone down, you, you have to keep them down. And that's something that we really haven't done. Um, when we go up, we have to figure out a way, you know, to to keep, keep them from scoring or, you know, keep more runs coming in. So um, a full team game is something we need, and I, and I hope, hope that will happen today. Um, not necessarily. I, I think uh, you think about the team we're playing. The Rockies had to do the same thing. Uh, and they had two days to prepare. We had a lot more. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't know what it is. Um, you know, there's all variables. You know, no fans. Um, you know, I it's all guessing game. But for me, <clears throat> uh, I'm, I could get fired up no matter, you know, whether playing in a park down the street, um, you know, in my hometown and you know, off Bay Avenue or – you know, playing it here in a big stadium. So uh, it, it's one of those things where you got to understand this is baseball. You've done it before. You played in American Legion games in high school where, you know, you got maybe 10 people at the games. Uh, you, you can hear, you know, the neighbors across the street fighting or whatever. So you have to figure out a way um, to get your energy going. And uh, and we have it. We have it right now. It's just it's just a matter of finishing ball games and uh, <clears throat> playing a full nine innings. And that's what we got to do. Yeah, and, you know, Woody just mentioned, too, and we are all kind of, this 60-game thing new to all of us. Sure. So it's like, wow, you're 20% in, but you still got 80% left. Yes. Right? So, so you, you've got to remember and realize there's still plenty of time. We've just got to start playing. With, without a doubt. I've been on teams before. I mean, even last year, you think about it. We were 14 games out, or, yeah, 12 or 13 games out. We went 15-2, and two, and next thing you know, we're one game out of the wild card. It goes to show you how a hot streak can come and go quickly or it could come longer than usual. So, you know, a big 20 games coming up here, a big 15 and five or, you know, a, a 12, you know, 13 and seven, 
something like that. That's six games you gain, and if it's against the teams that you're playing in your division, um, that's another game on top of that. So, um, you know, you guys are a lot smarter than me with mathematics, so you guys understand the analytics side. I don't really do that. I, I just go about wins and losses. So, uh, for me, that's it. You get on a little hot streak, a 10, 20 game hot streak. Uh, next thing you know, this is all in the past, and that's why I said I'm, I'm glad this happened earlier than later because when you when you're um, getting everybody healthy and everybody's back going, and we're hitting on all cylinders, um, we won't even worry about this later on. And hopefully, that happens. What do you sing with these? Uh, we we sing "Lean on Me," and he's the bass, and I you know I sing the regular part. Yeah, he's got a good voice. Oh, he may. He makes me sound a lot better. Yeah, I bet he does. That's good. Thank you, Pat. Other questions, please. PR. Pat, I don't know anything about analytics either. All I know is <clears throat> Joey Gallo's not in the lineup tonight. What does that mean for the rest of the lineup to have him out? Um, honestly, I think it's, you know, just a, just a day. Uh, one of those things where, you know, um, you know, last three games have been tough. It's just one of those things where our big guns out. Somebody's got to step up, and I, I'm I'm here. I'm I'm ready. I, I don't know, um, you know, what position I'm hitting in, but at the same time, uh, I, you know, I've told Woody, you know, you put me wherever I need to be. I'm feeling pretty good right now, and uh, you know, and for other guys too. It's one of those things, you know, who's who who's got the guts to look themselves in the mirror and say, you know what, it's my turn to step up, and uh, that's how I was born and raised. And you got to look, you got to look the man in the mirror. You know, a lot of the times and figure out, like, hey, let's go. I got to step it up and, uh, you know, not even on the offensive angle. You know, make a big defensive play or, you know, pick somebody up. You know, get that ground ball to get the guy over, whatever it is. Um, and that's baseball 101. How is the morale of the team after what happened in Oakland? Oh, I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. It's uh, um, It wasn't fun. I'll put it that way. It wasn't fun, uh, uh, especially when you know, we, had, we were up uh, – you know, for some of the game, you know, when you're winning and you lose, it's a little tougher. But um, I think everybody's glad to be home. I think everybody's excited for a new series, <clears throat> and we'll get a kick started today. What else? Other questions? Good, Kevin. Is that your hand? That's a hand. Yes, that is a hand. Hey, Todd. Um, been known to talk on the MLB network on occasion. I think they call you a good friend of the network. Kevin Cash went on there today and had a few things to say about the, the video limitations that guys have in games this year. Um, how much, how much of a, how much of a factor do you think that's been, especially on, in a roster full of young kids who have kind of been taught that way? Yeah, um, hasn't been a factor for me at all. To be honest with you, I, I'm a guy that. You know, I want to hear what the guys to say after a strikeout. I don't want him, you know, in the corner, you know, ah, screaming and yelling. You know, I've been there before. Don't get me wrong. And it's probably going to happen again this season. But I want to get the, hey, man, because we, we've had a lot of great chats. I mean, listen, hey, Nick, you know, after Nick gets out or something, hey, what's the movement on his fastball? You know, how is that slider? Um, I think we've gotten away from that. I think everybody goes back to the video. Um, it hurts the morale of the team. I think um, being out there and supporting your players is, is key. Um, I think guys need to understand that, especially at a younger age too as well, that video is not going to make you hit 300. Uh, you know, it might help you see where, you know, what I did when I watched video, my problem was I wanted to see because I would complain whether it was a ball or strike. And that gets away from a lot of things too. So uh, for me, I haven't argued as much, to be honest with you. And I, you know, some guys would come in and tell me, oh, that was actually a ball. So it's like, all right, well, you know, I took it the right way, you know, move on to the next pitch. It's just little examples like that where you have to focus on the game, being there for your teammates, and um, you know, the younger guys in the generation. Some guys need that, and I, I don't necessarily think that's the way to go. I think if you're a professional athlete and a professional baseball player, you know what's right and wrong. You know, you should know why you, you know, why your swing was bad. You know, I was out in front, or you know, I took a fastball right down the plate, the pitch before before I struck out. So it's all these variables that you need to understand. That listen, you're a pro, be a pro, and help each other out kind of okay with the fact that the limited video rooms have been limited this year? I, I, in my opinion, I love it because it brings guys more together and, you know, it keeps you off that last at bat. Hey, man, oh, yeah, this fastball was, was pretty good. Had a little movement downward. Be ready for it. And, you know, that that's baseball. Like we taught, like I said, when you're younger, you know, how did you do when you were younger? When you were in high school, when you were in college, you didn't have nothing. 
in the minor leagues even. So um, we must have been doing we, – we must have been all lucky. You know what I mean? So uh, – it, that's the way it goes. I'm, I'm old school as it comes, and you know I want to talk. I want to. I want to see your eyes. I want. I want to. I want to build that that team bond and friendship where you know you can trust me by what I see. Let me trust you by what you see.